Hello, my name is Savannah Wesson, and today we are going to be learning about the reasons for seasons. Today my SOL is based on earth patterns, cycles, and change. It's going to be 3.8, and it says that the student will investigate and understand basic patterns and cycles occurring in nature. Mine is basically, basically focused on Part A and the seasonal changes. This is for a third grade science class. Your learning objective says that the student will be able to create a poster showing three reasons of why the seasons change with 100% accuracy. These three reasons should be the earth is tilted on an axis, different parts of the earth receive direct rays from the sun at different times of the year, and the relation of the earth's hemisphere in relation to the sun are the result in the different seasons. Also, I have provided a link for the actual presentation in Adobe Spark and the link for their Google document that what they will be doing their So the reasons for seasons. So why do we have seasons? Here's an example of why we have seasons. In the beginning of my Adobe Spark presentation, I talk about how the seasons change depending on the amount of sunlight reaching the earth as it revolves around the sun. Here I just give key facts about the Earth's tilted axis and how it revolves around the sun each year. I also gave that it was tilted about 23.5 degrees and how this tilt combined with its revolution around the sun causes the seasonal changes. I also provided pictures so that it's easier for the students to see what is happening. To follow, I talk about what is happening during our summers and how since the days are longer and the rays are more tired, that's why it's warmer. And also I talk about our winter and how the sun rays are spread apart more and that is why it is colder. Also to follow, I talked about our spring and fall and how it's actually, the earth doesn't lean neither towards nor away from the sun. It's basically the same in the spring and fall. Here is a photo to show. At the end of each one, I've provided information on what they was the key information that they should have learned. For their task analysis, I told them that they are going to complete a task analysis with group members by making a poster on what they have learned so far. Here is a link that I have provided for them that they can click on to go see their instruction in their Google document. Here I told them that they are going to write about three different facts on what they have learned so far and also I like them to do a little bit more research on one fact that they are going to list down here. I told them that they can provide pictures but they need to post it here in their Google document before creating their poster. This will allow them to have their thoughts organized before placing it on their poster. At the end, they need to post a picture of their poster to this Google document because this will be their assessment and evaluation at the end when they present their poster to their class. Finally, I have listed what they have learned today and what the key facts are about learning why the seasons changed. And I told them about their evaluation and how they should have the three facts that they have learned today and how I will grade them on their accuracy in their Google document. Thank you and I hope you have learned a lot on how seasons change.